what we've seen in Australia, and I'm not sure if this is the case in Singapore as well, is we've seen a lot of cases where students see jobs, which is like work from home, get, 50, get paid $50 an hour. And a lot of the, the times it's about converting money from money into blockchain. In fact, what a lot of that is about is um, working for transnational money laundering organizations. So um, what usually happens is they'll give you some money, the students will take that money and convert it into blockchain, but they can keep three, um, five to 10% of that. A lot of the time, the students might not be aware, but they're actually facilitating illegal flows of money, la money laundering. And they can they can get uh, arrested for that. So how does it work? So they get approached and to say work from home, you get paid I don't know a hundred dollars. You get say they'll transfer you, um, or they'll give you in cash a thousand dollars or into your bank account. Or they'll put into a bank account or they'll literally give you money because a lot of this is drug money. So it needs to be um, so they'll have to go deposit it, and once it's deposited, then they will have to convert it to blockchain and send it to certain addresses. And then they get to keep some percentage of that money. Oh, yeah. so they're kind of like money mules. They're money mules, yeah. yes.